Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Techie Tea. This time brought to you from Foxholes. I'm in the village. I'm out dropping some flyers. Um, I thought I'd just take a little pit stop and have a chat because <clears throat> it's been a while and as much as I haven't been posting on social media there have been progressions being made. Got our DBS checks back if you saw that on social the other day which means now that anybody doing home visits and coming into your home we know are safe to do so. Um, so me, <laughs> when I come into your home you can be rest assured knowing that um, I am safe to be around and that I'm not going to steal any of your possessions and um, I'm not going to hurt you. I don't have a history of violent crimes um, so I am a trustworthy character in the eyes of Techie T. <laughs> um, obviously the DBS checks came back and they were clear which means we sent them on to MASH now. Um, MASH are aware and um, are happy now to move forward. Our next session is booked in with them for the 20th of August. Um, so yeah, really, really good. I've, I've, it's been quiet at Foxholes these past two weeks. That's why I'm out dropping flyers. We do have a couple of bodies in the in the hall, um, but it's been quiet here. So I've been out distributing some flyers and some marketing materials in an effort to drum up some um, awareness of who we are, where we are, what we're doing. Um, caught a couple of villagers on the way through saying, eh, can I give you one of these, please? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm from Techie T. <laughs> Oh, what's Techie Tea? So I spoke to a couple of people just walking about, which is nice. I'm a bit sweaty now, which is why I've just decided to take a seat. I absolutely love Foxholes. I could sit here and look at this view for ages. It's, um, it's very relaxing. The village hall is literally, or the community hall, is literally that building there. Um, Foxholes is mint. It's, um, it's a really nice, very well equipped hall. We're here every Tuesday from one till three. So get yourselves along bring your devices in, come and get some help with your technology, friends, and um, see what Techie Tea is all about and how you can help us help people. Because that's what we're in, a, that's what we're in, a, that's what we're on a mission to do. We're on a mission to help people make sense of technology. It's so frustrating seeing, I went to go see a lady today in Langtoft, um, and just, it's just a lack of confidence and knowledge um, which is preventing people from moving forward. So if we can give you that knowledge in a nice friendly capacity where you understand it, then we can sleep at night knowing our job is done properly. So this lady, there was a couple of issues. She had an old Samsung smart TV, must have been at least 10 years old because it still had a SCART lead in it. Um, and she was saying that her BBC iPlayer or her ITVX Channel 4, the catch-up services have sort of dwindled. So I had a little Google search and did some research and it, it, surely enough, anything over 10 years old, um, they're not allowing, they, they just, it doesn't, it's not up to their requirements, minimum requirements for the app anymore. So I advised her to get like a Roku box or a Chromecast dongle, um, um, a fire stick, anything like that that's going to plug into the back of the TV and give us the smart capabilities. So I sent her the link on Amazon to go and um, to go and purchase that. What else did we do? We looked at um, joining a group on Facebook, but it turns out that she, it wasn't a group that she wanted to join. It was just to have a look at a page. Um, so I got her on there. Uh, what else did we look at for her? The photos. So she uses an Android phone. All of the pictures that she takes on her phone, she wanted on a computer. Uh, she was flabbergasted at this one. So literally, I just typed in into Google Chrome, photos.google.com, and all of her pictures were there. Would you believe it? And she was like, oh my God, what is this magic? Um, and that is cloud-based storage working as it should um, to deliver what you need, where you need it, when you need it. Um, so I said, what's probably best now? Because she was talking about deleting photos off a phone. So I said, what's best to do now? I said, if we delete, if we download this backup, if we back up all your pictures and create you a local file on your computer that you could then migrate over onto an external hard drive and keep the pictures safe, then you are good to delete from your phone, which will delete from the computer in Google Photos. Um, but she's never, she's never, she's never going to use all of the storage. Google comes with 15 gigabytes for free and she's used it for the time that she's had the technological um, technology and she was only at three gig. So I was pretty confident to advise her that, you know, if you're clearing most of that off now, um, 
that your storage will be absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, that was her in Killam this morning, in, um, in Langtoft this morning. I, I sort of left, well I did, I left Nafferton drop-in session a bit early to get to the Langtoft drop-in, the home visit and then on to Foxholes. Um, so yeah, we've got, a, we've got a director's meeting this evening. Go and discuss the direction in which Techie T is going. I feel like it's been a bit blurry um, these past month or two in terms of what we actually offer. And um, I feel like I want to drum down now on the services that we've got. You repair your upgrades, your home visits, drop-in sessions, and then the online platform. So there are, there, are a, there are a few to keep running at now, but now that we've got them set up and they're in place, like you can, you can become a member now. You can support Techie T from just five pound a month and that goes so long to helping us secure the village halls that we need, the refreshments that we need, the development for the website that we need, the furthering of the tools and the equipment that we've got and that we need. Um, so it's not just five pound to gain access to our online learning platform for you to be able to learn and see what we're doing. Um, it's also contributing to very much to the growth and um, the survival of Techie T at this point. So if if um, you're looking for a new good cause to donate to, um, I need to put on a yearly payment. So we're gonna offer a yearly payment of 50 pound um, and we're gonna have a monthly payment of five pound. So, I mean, even two of those, a month, £10 a month, would pay for an hour in a village hall for some people to come in and get some help. And that's massive. And obviously, the more we continue rolling out the drop-in sessions, which is the plan, we've got North Yorkshire, five sites in North Yorkshire sat pending. We've got Hedden, we've got Alf Marshall in Bransholm. We've got a few. We've got a few drop-in sessions, or at least venues, that are on the prowl, that are, that are voiced interest, that want to get to know us that want to host a Techie T drop-in session. Um, but finances for us is a big thing at the moment. And if we can't secure funding to get that place, I want to be in a place as a business that we can be self-sufficient and fund these things ourselves through the value that we're proposing to the community and, and our customers. So whether that be through home visits, um, we can come to your house, we can fix your technology at home, your Wi-Fi, your TV, your printers, um, your phones, your laptops, computers, anything, anything. It, even if you've got a ring doorbell or a Fitbit that you want to just take some time to learn, um, I can come round and I can show you exactly what it is that you need to do. Um, oh, Drop-in session, Nafferton this morning, guy came and he goes, I've got one for you. I was like, oh, I like a challenge. Come on, sit down. What, what are we saying? He goes, the, the, when, when, you, when, you get, when you get a message or something and you're, and there's like a little, usually there was like a little orange circle above the app that would tell you uh, that you've got a notification. It seems to have disappeared. I can't get it on. Challenge. <clears throat> and I said, challenge accepted. I, I like a good challenge. Um, so the badge app icon or the, ad, the, the, the app badge icon, something like that. Found it in the settings, turned it on, turned it on so the numbers are there. Um, so he was quite impressed with that. Verbal diarrhea. There goes my impulsivity again. Lost the track of thought, what I was saying. Home visits, um, wherever I was. Nafferton, village hall, pays for a village hall, £10. So if we got two people signed up per month, that would pay Nafferton Hall for an hour. Um, so the more people we can get signed up, the more people, the more village halls we can get into, which then means the more people that we can help. And um, it's really important for us to be able to do that and not rely on funding. As much as I really like being able to apply for funding and it's good news that we get it, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. So if, dry, if funding completely dried up, what would we do? Well, we'd freeze we'd stop functioning. We wouldn't be able to pay for the village halls, for the refreshments, for the bits, the bats that we need. So it was always a big, big mission. That's why I incorporated us as a community interest company and not as a charity to have to rely upon funding. And home visits and the membership service will be a key part of that. To keep us delivering, we need to be having home visits. They have dwindled off home visits and I know that that's my fault. Um, I hope that the people who have missed... Um, and and sort of 
as I said in that post yesterday, like I'm going through a process at the moment of getting diagnosed with ADHD because my forgetfulness, my task avoidance, there have been um, symptoms of it that have presented it that I can't afford to let loose now. Like because I've become aware, I know what's happening and I can see it happening, but I don't have any tools in place to stop it happening. Um, so like my task avoidance has risen over the past four weeks because I knew that I'd already had four weeks off Techie Tea and it was like, oh, the pressure and the overwhelm happened and it was like bloody hell. So I'm in the process of getting help with this so I can be there consistently with Techie Tea, not get overwhelmed, not get frightened um, and just to keep on moving forward with it because it's it, I've seen it all too much all too much happen in my life where I do get overwhelmed I withdraw and it's like pff, it was never meant to be when really it's just my brain then shutting down because certain things that have happened um I've then gone overwhelmed retreat not wanting to do it but then really everybody's there it's just a case of getting over myself and silencing the inner critic um, and keeping on moving forward to progress with Techie 2 because I really do want it to succeed and we've done a lot over the past six months, seven months to get it here now and I just I need to I want to continue with that and show people that we are here, that we do care, that we're not out to get your money um, and that we're out to deliver a good service really for the people and um, yeah. I'm going to go back up because I've finished my flyer dropping now. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go see what the crack is and um, come along to the dropping sessions. We're in Driffield tomorrow morning, 10 till 12. Thursday, we're in Lockington. I know it's ballot day, voting day, but still come and get yourself along. Um, we're in there 10 till 12. I think we're going to be in a gazebo out in the garden um, that'll pick up the Wi-Fi. So get yourselves along. If you've got any help that you need with technology, if you've got any needs that you need help with technology, my number will be in the description or in the in the caption on the video. Um, this will be a YouTube one, this one, because it's quite a long one. Um, just give me a call. Take a little look at our flyers. It's got my number on it. You can call me anytime. Um, I am off to go see a lady tomorrow to go sort out some home things. Um, the home servicing. I'm off to go look at a gas, look at her electric, look at a broadband, make sure that she's not paying too much for a bit. Um, see if we can simplify any of the processes for her. Um, see if we can save her some money. And um, yeah, so we got the drop-in session early in the morning, 10 till 12, then I'm, a, I'm away to her house in the afternoon. Lockington is the same. I have got um, Lockington, Thursday is the same. I've got Lockington in the morning and I've got an appointment in the afternoon in Bridlington. And then I'm going to go see my ADHD person on Thursday afternoon in Cranny. Um, Friday, I'm off to go get the boys, so I've got nothing in on Friday. So the diary for next week is open. If you need a home visit booking in, get in touch with me. Um, I am now back working on a paper diary because that works a little bit better for me because I miss appointments, don't put them in properly in my digital one, at least for now. I know as Techie T, I should be advocating a digital first, but what I'm going to do is write them in my paper and then migrate them over to my digital so it can be tracked. Um, I did quite well talking there, sat down for so long. Um, usually I have to be walking and passing the scenery, but we did okay. Um, if you don't know what the Techie Tribe is, which is our new membership service, go onto our website, techietea.co.uk, and it is right at the top. There is a little button that says Techie Tribe. If you click it, it'll take you to the information page and it'll tell you all about what we're gonna be posting on there. So I'm going for exclusive content. So like the nice polished videos that we did at Beverly Barn, and for the Lockington drop-in sessions, the video content's going to be like that, of a high quality. Um, we're going to do product reviews. We're going to do um, recommendations for people. We're going to have, going to continue building this online platform, this learning platform with courses in it, so you can come on and learn. Loads of stuff. But yeah, Foxholes Village Hall. Every Tuesday, one till three. Come and say hello. Peace.